Martin here, thank you for joining me for this week's Turner's Journey, which is episode 52. Um, can't quite believe it's been um, it's been a year now since I started doing Turner's Journey, and it, it has been a hell of a ride, as uh, those of you who have followed me from the beginning of this series will know. Uh, so I, I've got to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has liked followed, subscribed, commented, given me feedback and all that stuff. It, it really is the most incredible feeling. So thank you all very, very much for that. Uh, at some point, I mean, I, I, I would love to be able to do a review of the year over, over what's happened. Um, but in a nutshell, I, I can't even put it in a nutshell. It, it's been such a, a mammoth year. Uh, so much has happened. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't really think as to exactly what has happened in the last uh, 52 weeks. But obviously, um, I developed Hampshire Sheen. That started with um, the original, then the high gloss, and, and everything. And now there are five products in the range. And developing that has been an education and, and also the turning and the videos and the people I've met and the uh, UK and Ireland Wood Turning Symposium all that stuff um, has happened in the last 52 weeks and it is uh, <laughs> it is a hell of a lot of work um, but there there is still an awful lot of work to do um, in the work in the workshop in the in the office here I've spent a couple of days building this up um, before my grandmother passed away um, at the end of May, um, this area here was her, um, um, her, her toilet, her bathroom. And um, obviously since she's passed away she doesn't need it anymore and we have another bathroom in somewhere else in the house. So we've taken out all of the plumbing and everything in here. Um, and I've extended the floor out and I've made myself um, a little office just off the living room which is just there. Um, so let me show you round. Um, well obviously as you can see there's my uh, computer and the desk. Um, the desk which was upstairs. And then if I just turn you round, it's a very simple office. And if I just turn you round, there's um, an old wardrobe there. And I'm in the conservatory, so I can look out onto the garden. And then round the corner. And the door there, living room's just through there. And there, yeah. There we go. A small, um, a, well, yeah, a fairly small office, but it's going to be absolutely perfect um, for what for what I need it for. I'm going, to, I'm going to put some shelves in the wardrobe so I can just store all the crap that you saw littered around the desk and stuff. So I've got a little place where I can come and I can edit my videos and and, and do stuff like that. And talking of videos and stuff like that, um, there was a post on Facebook the other day um, about whether or not wood is going out of fashion. And that got me thinking. Uh, so at some point in the next couple of weeks, uh, I'm going to be doing another essay, um, like the, the two YouTube ones I did a little while ago. I'm going to be doing an essay um, uh, about my thoughts of is wood going out of fashion and what as wood turners and woodworkers can we do to um, promote wood and wood turning and you know, just to make sure that wood doesn't go out of fashion completely, you know, that, that sort of thing. Just my thoughts, you know, just a, a brain dump like it was um, with the two YouTube video um, essays. Um, right, Portsmouth last week, um, three days demonstrating, it was absolutely superb. Um, had a really, really good three days. Uh, got fairly sunburnt, as uh, even though I was wearing Factor 50. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so three full days turning started, well, 10 till 5 I was turning virtually non-stop on all three days, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It was fantastic to see so many people coming in and out. I think they had um, about 8,000 people turn up across the three days. Or was that just Sunday? 
I can't remember now. It, it was such a hectic three days. And it was really nice to meet um, some of my followers again. Some had travelled. Uh, some had travelled some uh, some uh, very reasonable distances to come down to the dockyard and have a look at the Mary Rose and the Victory and HMS Warrior and also, you know, say a quick hello to me as they're passing and stuff. And I'm, yeah, I made I made some good contacts down there. Um, I booked a workshop. I sold some pieces as well, which is always which is always a nice thing. Um, and I think. Um, the relationship that I have now with Boathouse Number no. Four, I think I'm, we may be able to take further. Obviously, being there by myself, I didn't have anybody coming along as, as sort of my wingman to to help me out or anything. So I didn't get many pictures um, of of what was going on. But on the Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, I can't. Remember. <laughs> it was only a week ago. I can't remember. But anyway, I made a time lapse film of uh, five hours, uh, five hours at. Uh, uh, at the event and uh, this is it. So, as you can see, it was busy, loads and loads of people milling backwards and forwards, and uh, quite a few people stopping and asking me questions and, and generally kind of um, observing what goes on um, as far as wood turning is concerned, which, it, which, um, which is obviously part of, a, part of a, my mission statement, as it were. Um, also, uh, this week, um, I've, I've been doing the office this week, and I've also decorated my bedroom as well, but... You don't need to worry about that. Um, and yesterday, which was Friday the 12th, um, I spent the morning with Les Thorne again. Um, Le I spent a day with Les um, a few months ago, and um, in exchange for a day with him, I said that I would do um, a few hours filming for him and, and edit him a couple of videos. Um, I'm not going to show you any of the, um, the unedited footage, but rest assured I've done... Um, or I'm going to be doing a few little videos for Les um, over the next uh, over the next few weeks, and they will be uh, they will be on his his own YouTube channel and also his website too. And uh, if he lets me, I'll I'll put them out to you guys as well. And whilst I was with uh, Les yesterday, I bought a couple of new um, chisels or a couple of new gouges. Um, I bought I think that's the three eighths. Um, spindle gouge which I need to make a handle for um, and also the 10 millimeter skew 10 millimeter round skew chisel um, now you, you very very rarely see me using a skew chisel uh, in my videos other than for scraping um, but having watched Les use his his uh, 10 mil skew which is which is part of his signature range I was absolutely blown away um, at the versatility of this tool so I bought one uh, and because they don't have handles, um, there, there'll be a video coming up soon on how I make the handles for these two tools. Now, I, um, I've been alluding to something over the last few weeks, a big announcement that I was going to make in episode 52, um, which is this one. But I'm not absolutely in the right place to make that announcement just yet, um, or certainly not in full detail, because I do everything... Myself, I've got to be the chief cook and bo bo bottle washer um, for for the business. Um, stuff just takes an age to get done. Um, but in essence, um, what I'm planning on doing is building um, a brand new workshop um, with perhaps four or five lathes in it, um, which. Um, I'm going to be making available to uh, groups of vulnerable people, people with uh, mental health issues, depression, anxiety, that kind of thing, and also open it up to youth groups and 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 all and just basically trying to spread the word about wood turning even more 
and how it can benefit people both creatively and mentally and for your confidence and all that stuff. And plus tie that in with the skills that I have through graphic design and running a business and computers and stuff like that. Um, I should hopefully be able to come up with um, some kind of prolonged course on, um, on helping people and perhaps start their own business, develop confidence and uh, you know learning hand-eye coordination and the, the stuff that goes on with business. Um, v as it is very, very, very early days for that um, project, I've got a lot of research to do because I can't afford to do it all myself. So um, by by looking into um, local council grants and arts council grants, craft council grants, lottery grants, that kind of thing, um, I may be able to put together um, a whole kind of um, wood turning package where some of the funding or most of the funding for that will be able to come from grants um, because I'm doing it all for the greater good and the, and the public and you know these, these vulnerable groups and youth groups and stuff like that and, and uh, reaching out into the community that kind of thing uh, so that's that in a nutshell that's going to be an ongoing project that's going to take maybe another uh, um, another year certainly two years um, to get running and off the ground properly so that's that's really exciting and I'm very very much looking forward to the next year which um, well, kind of starts today really, this is episode 52, next week will be episode 53 and we'll be a year and a week into uh, into the journey. Um, but I really do, I really have waffled on far too much today, um, but it, there is so much going on at the moment. Um, I've got the kids with me, the kids are with me for two weeks now, so I'm officially on holiday. Um, I hope you enjoyed the bowl, the, the spindle bottom video that I put up the other day. Um, I have got a day booked in the workshop on Monday or Tuesday and I'm going to do um, a big hollow form. Um, I've got a large lump of sycamore and I'm going to do a large um, I'm going to do a large hollow form with the Sorby um, Ultima tool. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then that'll be it. Um, I'll still do Turner's Journey next week and uh, the week after, but next week there'll just be the one big video because um, the kids are here, I don't see them very often, so I've got to do that. Um, right, I have waffled on far too much. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday for the Hollow Form video. Next week, of course, for Turner's Journey episode 53. Um, if you're new to the channel, please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, I do publish at least one video or perhaps even two videos um, every week, and on a good week you might even get three. <laughs> um, so that's it for this week. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.